Fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh, how many do we even have out here? At least four. Joel, you kind of dropped the ball there. <laughs> I was counting on you. This is why we don't talk in the future. Okay, I gotta get up there quick before the next one comes around. Shit, shit, shit. Drain so fucking fast when they grab you. Okay. Wasn't great, but we only got grabbed the one time. Joel took care of the clicker this time. And now we can quickly run a scavenge in the area. Looking for bricks, most importantly. Over here! Oh, for God's sake, what now? There's so many of these fucking assholes. I almost got away from that one. You know, the virtues of a sawed off shotgun cannot be overstated. much trouble, god damn. 
Yeah, I need to blow through my big ammo quickly. I'll just die on his own, thank you. Where's the next one? Oh. Come on. Sit in the corner, let them come to me. <laughs> Ellie? Say we give up on those strings for today. Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. There's the brick I was looking for. Anything else in here while we're waiting while we're waiting around? Perhaps some materials to make myself a first aid kit? No? gun here. That looks like it might be something. Following you. It's very convenient that the infected don't react to flashlights at all. I still have no idea if they have an in-game justification for that. Like, I know... The clickers are blind, so it doesn't wouldn't matter to them. But the runners most certainly are not blind, and neither neither are the shamblers. Oh, so she knows. Oh, it's a bloater. Oh no, I remember this. Oh, the camera cuts so fast, you really can't zoom in on that. I don't have a Molotov to throw at him, which is my usual deal. Joel? Joel? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I almost kind of want to keep dying to see what other animations he's got, but maybe I shouldn't. And we're running. Nope. Back in. Where the fuck is he now? Okay, I have the materials to make the uh, the Molotov. On your right. what, what the fuck? Come on! That just feels unfair. Okay. We're gonna try this a couple more times before I have to start cutting footage. Now, we know the alcohol is in here. Stay away from her! Okay, let's mark this one off on the timer. 
Up we go. Running in circles. You know what might be a good thing more now? God, fuck off. I'm out of bullets. Got all that infinite shotgun, you gonna do some work for you soon? We got more company coming. Indeed we do. I thought that was death for sure. Joel killed a bloater with a machete. That was real good. We fucking did it. You good? You know, I'm being really old. Ain't nothing a solid night of sleep won't shake off. I want to get out of here. That thing took a while to bring down. I saved the Molotov for, for like near the end of the fight because I figured that might catch another zombie or another runner. What are you doing? <clears throat> what if there's like two bloaters back there? It'll be fine. I think if there were any more bloaters or any infected in the area, they would have come running at that. That was a shoot at the OK Corral, we just had. Spores are clear. <sighs> Quite the fight back there, huh? Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Jesse and Dean are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's do work out quickly. A date, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, 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 I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. Not uh, so keen with this one. Joel. <laughs> I think we might have to have the talk with Joel. <laughs> Not the birds and bees talk, the, uh, the bees and bees talk. Although, wait. In the birds and bees analogy, which one's female? Because they're different species entirely. I want to say birds. I'm going to guess it's birds. Yeah, so it's not so much the birds and bees talk, but the birds and birds talk. Dolce Crema. Oh, this is a coffee shop. Joel's going to lose his shit. You squeeze through there. Ten bloaters just sitting around. See what it is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the hell happened to this person? Really? <laughs> nice one. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Joel. Huh? I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. 
of Adam and Sydney. And if they knew that there was a chance they might not be, con uh, they Shut might be up. immune. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Okay, Adam definitely wasn't immune, but he could have been. That's the thing. Only they were immune, right? Oh, is it, are we going to have this talk right now? Okay, I'll shut up. <clears throat> well, let's... Go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital... You said there were dozens of people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I mean, to be fair, you've been keeping it secret. Why wouldn't they? I could be hiding it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck, the game is making my points for me. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just would have given them more time, they could have figured Damn something it. out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Joel really doesn't want to have the talk. Yeah, this is what passes for surgery in 20... I think like, I keep forgetting the year. Passed out. It was 20... Hey, let me do that. 2013, 2033, 2037, that's the current year. He's a good guy. Why didn't you tell him? I mean, it's very obviously his, right? There you go. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Wait, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. I'm gonna flip my shit if we find out that Tommy like broke his ankle and went back to Jackson like three days after they left. <laughs> or like six hours after they left. The door, please.
Seattle day three. Or are we still in day two? Right. Yeah, still day two. Route five. That should take me to the hospital. I still have my machete. That's Route nice. Five. Two bullets from this gun. Get her to tell me where Abby is. Oh, she had, how, how, how am I doing for craftables? Uh, eh, I don't really want to craft anything right now. Okay, I assume we're not going back this way, so might as well keep on going. Here we go. Any chance of anything good in here? Nope. as to which way I'm supposed to be going here. This just loops back around on itself. Oh, nope, hang on, I think I got it. That's nice, thank you. Decent collection of scrap. I still haven't seen a workbench since I got the bow, so I'm hoping I find one soon. Anything here? No. Cut through here. Into what is clearly meant to be a 7 Eleven, but not so much now. I swear, I almost want to like walk into every room and just bang my hand against the wall to see if anything jumps out at me. I also appreciate that using my machete on a glass thing doesn't immediately use up one of the things on the machete. Doing my usual sweep for random crap. Oh. Randy Styles. Okay, I gotta see this one. That looks like Fred Penner, doesn't it? Beloved children's uh, Canadian, sorry, beloved Canadian children's entertainer. Once Dr. Uckman's research partner, working late night to develop on marriage technology until one day he vanished. He helps people in need and vanishes again. So he's a r random teleporter who just shows up to help people. Which is interesting. Kind of a weird inversion of Quantum Leap. Alright, is that everything? Okay, fair enough. Which way am I supposed to be going then? Oh. Okay, progress. Anything in here I can loot? Because I can smash these windows now, I know that, but... You would ostensibly need to have a reason to do that. Yeah. Check every car. Okay, I'm hearing... Oh! I don't know what I, what I was planning to do there. I was like, should I throw a bottle at it? Would that work? But I do have a machete on me. Alright, we can just sprint right over there this time. Although, I could just ignore that for a second and check out a different building. Like this one. Oh good, more cult bullshit. Okay, so they hung this guy long enough that his body rotted and then they just kind of let the body drop. Well, I can get up that access ladder, but I'm just going to check the rest of this building out for, or check out the rest of the lobby. 
I do want to clear out uh, Clicker House over there, but first I'm going to see if there's anything in terms of ammo I can get over here, because two bullets ain't going to cut it out there. Really? Oh, there we go. Like, why would you show me a ladder and then not, not let me use it? Gonna be useful for. I've already got one of these. Damn it. There's some good stuff in there. I'm honestly not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. Interesting. I imagine they want me to swing out. Oh, okay, I get it now. I think I get it. Hang on. I think I think I understand. Yep, and then I go down there, I climb up. And then swing into the building. Yep. Easy peasy. Or I can just fuck up like that, you know. Thank you. I get that it's realistic, but come on, can he climb a little rope a little bit faster? Okay, we need to be a little lower so we get more swing action. Thank you. Right. What do we got? Shitload of parts, thank you. Another playing card. Shift. Don't care. Not cool enough for. That's not, not a cool enough name for me to look into it. Hope you never read this note. Uh, I don't know how many hours since you left. They shouted at me, called me a sinner, and started shooting. I'm sorry I got so sick. I thought I let you go to the hospital by yourself. Please come back. I'm so scared. So apparently, Simon, her boyfriend or whatever went off to scavenge for supplies at the hospital and then the congregation turned on her when she as soon as, as soon as he was gone. He bandages, painkillers, vitamins, antacids, thermometers, and pillows. Yep, pillows. That's what that's that's what you need more than anything else. Can I just jump straight from here? Thank you. All right, we got one rifle bullet. And there we go. And two pistol bullets. We do have a couple of stun grenades and the materials to make another uh, pipe bomb if we need it. A couple more people in there. Alright, I'm gonna try to play this smart. How many do we have? Just two? Okay. I can work with this. Come on. Everybody, come on. It's a party and everyone's invited. Okay. It wasn't great. I took out a couple. I need you guys to walk into this fire for me. Oh, we got another one. Unfortunately, that still leaves one. Fuck. Fuck. 
fuck. And I'm gonna kill every last one of them. 